Okay, let's start with Alessandra. Alright, you ask around the veil. I guess we should do that first, right? Heal one damage or one horror. Limit once per game. Interesting. Okay, so let's start there. Let's do number nine. Ask about the veil. Uh, boarding house. Right? That's where we are? Yeah, yeah, boarding house. All right. Miss Olmstead is more than happy to answer your questions as she gets uh, plates helped with sufficient, or I'm sorry, succulent fruit and sizzling meats. Don't forget to come to the dance this evening. Everyone will be there, she smiles. Your mouth waters at the scent of food, but you also catch the acrid undercurrent. Also, we just ate food and it wasn't great, apparently. Which kind of deck are you running? Uh, I'm running the one Steven told me to run, so I don't know how to explain it. But it's good. <laughs> Choose one of the options below to resolve. Investigators at the boarding house may spend any number of actions as a group to choose that many additional options. The investigator may trigger this codex again. Uh, Leah was supposed to prepare the feast for the crossroads. If she's there, I know she appreciate your help. And the investigator at the boarding house may immediately move to the crossroads. Uh, we can look for the resident and set aside Simeon and put him into play at the old mill. Well, Simeon's kind of dead, so we can't do that. Uh, Gideon is probably at the commons like always. Search the set aside residence encounter for Gideon Mizara and put it in the commons. I guess I should put the people out there, right? Hey, Darren Lime, how's it going? Doing well. Bell has that Chick fil A food going on. Giving you warts and stuff? Oh man, it's nothing but delicious. If anything, I'd be feel healed to uh to full life. All right, so we could do it one, and then we could do another action to two. So what we'll do? No, anyway, I don't want to move. Let me just put Gideon Mizra at play at the commons. Right. So where is Gideon? Oh, there we go. At the comments, so put him there. Um, we can move. Actually, you know what? Let's move Hank directly to the crossroads. All right. Well, actually, this doesn't even matter. That's silly because we can just move. Well, whatever. We'll just move him up there. Did you move your setup to a new place? I'm so used to the coffee shop. I did. I'm now upstairs. <laughs> Would you take a mental or physical damage when you eat Chick-fil-A? No, you would be healed. I would no longer have a mental or physical damage. God. All right, so let's do... That's right, these don't connect. Does this connect? This does connect. I'm going to move Alessandra over to the Veil House. Search your uh, deck for a tome asset and draw it. Now, I'm going to peruse the library on 15. All right. It's a library, not a bookshop. An angry red-haired teacher barks. Theo emerges from the schoolhouse and flashes a goofy smile, just as he is tackled by school kids. Search the set-aside residence encounter set for Theo Peters and put him into play at Vale Schoolhouse asset side face-up. Okay. Theo. There's Theo. Good old Theo. Um, oh, okay. That's right. And then I can talk to Theo if I want. We'll see. Okay, so Hank, Hank Hill, selling propane and propane accessories. I really hope someone asks you about it next year. Wait till they find out that it's all a... Uh, it's all a fake and it's really just the basement. I'm using AI to generate a new background. Okay, so uh, you asked the locals about the veil on 10. So talk to more locals on 10, the crossroads. Um, oh, wait, wait, we have to keep track of what we talk to, right? All right, what did we do? We did nine. We did 15. 
That's it, right? Nine and 15. Yeah, and now we're doing 10. Okay. So I'd be like, what? What's happening? <laughs> the Beast took over the basement. I've only played Arkham a couple times. My friend owns it. Is it hard in Marvel Champions campaign on Expert? I can't tell because I have limited cards and no experience. No, because you're okay to lose. <laughs> so like if you lose an Arkham a bunch, it's okay. You don't need to use the campaign log at all, right? It can all be done. Yeah, pretty much everything could be just done in the app. I think it's pretty hard. It's 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 got its moments of it being hard, but again, if you fail, it's like not that big of a deal. Okay, wait, wait. Uh 10. Um okay, so we have to draw one card. Remember that you are running an errand. Okay, so he gets to draw a card. Hank, Hank Hill. And then we'll go to the chapel. Go up to the chapel. Okay, cool. Force, when you draw a weakness, cancel it. Okay. Uh, talk to the locals. Okay, that's fine. All right, so enemy phase, there is none. Upkeep phase, ready up all the stuff. Alessandro draws one. It's up to six. He's going to draw one. Up to six. feel like it's insurmountable. <laughs> All right. And then this goes up to three. We don't draw a bad card, right? All right. So now Alessandra. Only one, one asset you can keep in play, right? All right. We'll worry about that later. All right. So let's talk to Theo. Let's parlay with Theo. Oh, we have to discard X cards from our hand. So that's two. We'll get rid of, uh, to events and parlay with Theo. All right, what's he eight? But no, the app does make it much better. All right, so uh, if Theo distracted the bear, he did not distract the bear. Um, otherwise, Theo stands up in the schoolyard clutching a well-loved copy of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Sister Miriam got mad when I asked to buy her book, but I don't want to return it. I've always wanted to go to the ocean floor as long as I don't, as long as I didn't die. So happy I talked to you, Theo. Uh, okay, I can move anywhere else. Um. Let's go up here to Gideon's comments. We'll use two things to talk to Gideon. Maybe he's more useful. Oops, not a campaign log. Uh, six. All right, sounds good, Steven. Um, Gideon one. So Gideon is seated at a long table. I heard some talk on the Northern Shore about the right queer thing. A heap of weeds and shellfish rolling in from the North Beach. They said it moved on its own. The old man's story soon threatens to spiral into an explanation of whale anatomy. Let's go. Check his notes. If he told the story of Captain Hemlock, proceed. Otherwise, skip to three. I don't know which one it is. Oh, he did not tell the story. So to three. The conversation in, instead devolves into a soliloquy about barnacle removal. As Gideon waxes elegantly about the delicious abalone stew he once enjoyed. You politely excuse yourself. Draw three cards. Who is this? Her. So one, ugh, two, three. When I draw a weakness, discard it, cancel its effects. Oh, I'm sorry. Cancel its revelation effects and discard it. Okay, so two treacheries gone. Arkham gives you a thing like, if Theo distracted the bear, it's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> uh, increase his relationship level by one. Each investigator earns one bonus experience. Okay, so we each got one bonus experience. Solid. All right, that's all of his or her actions. Now it is Hank, Hank Hill's turn. So we'll do number 11. We'll go to the chapel. Gonna get married. All right, the Hemlock Chapel. The entrance to the chapel is chalked with uh, parishioners in white gold cloaks. 
so you head around back. As you open the door to the rear, you hear hushed conversation. You leave the door cracked and listen. A soft, a soft voice speaks. It'll be, it'll be done as you've said, mother. But I was wondering exactly why you need us to. It is not your place to question nor to speak, but to obey. Man, I like she's gonna. Uh, mother Rachel's stern voice cuts like a knife. Now you must join your brethren, and I must join the procession. Simply do as I ask. Search the set aside residence and counter set for Mother Rachel and put her in a play at Hemlock Chapel. Well, we might as well talk to her, right? Oh, we have to test two head. Okay. What are the odds we can do that? The odds are probably pretty good, right? The odds are not good. Oh, if we scale, I fail a skill test, we could do an event. So we might do that. Mother Rachel's a boss. All right, we're going to parlay the two, and we'll do uh, lucky if we have to. So three against two. What's this? Minus one. If it's a parlay attempt, reveal another token. Oh, okay. Are you kidding me? All right, well, we failed. All right, we're going to we're gonna try to parlay with her again. She, just, she likes a man that keeps on trying, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to keep on trying. All right, minus two. So we would fail, but we'll spend one resource to play fast. Uh, when you would fail a test, get plus two to the skill value. So we get two, and we now succeed, and we can talk to Mother Rachel. And Mother. All right. Persistence is key, right? I think she appreciates it. We're going to get through that, that exterior of hers. Mother Rachel won. Mother Rachel stands at the head of the procession. Her her train wave bright color ribbons as they sing a lilting song. The night is long. The woods are dark. The starborn child is clothed in bark. Silent we wait for summer rain. The cleansing wash to end the plain. The procession halts as Mother Rachel breaks from the group to walk to your side. Check your notes. If she intervened, she did not apparently. Go to Mother Rachel 3. So, three, Mother Rachel grips your hand tightly in hers as she looks down at you with a magnan magnanimous smile. There is so much that you do not yet understand. Teach me, Mother. And yet, I believe you will understand it once the feast begins. As the matron returns to the procession, a young girl in a rabbit mask peers out from the midst of the crowd. Ugh, a little creepy. I hate masks like that. Strings of flowers and garlands are roped around her hands and ankles. Increase Mother Rachel's relationship level by one. Each investigator earns one bit bonus point. Um, draw one card. Pitchfork. You may play a charm or spell asset from your hand, ignoring its cost. I don't think I have any charm or is a sledgehammer a charm? No. I don't have any. All right. All right, Reanimate. Appreciate you being here. We'll be live again on Thursday with novels. We're going to be opening Lorcana booster box. So and we'll be able to like just hang out and chat more. Okay. So we get the ready up. Alessandra draws that. Hank. Hank Hill. Draws that. Uh, five, six. When's the next champions? We will be playing Sunday night with Ziggy. So Ziggy will be on the channel and we're going to play a two player game. We're going to go through the core box as fast as humanly possible. Oh, I didn't put that back in. So Sunday, 8.15 p.m. Eastern. Kind of the same time this uh, stream started. Not kind of. Like the same time. All right. So four goes there. Okay. Okay. Let's try. Okay. So uh, where is she? We've already talked to her. We can go to the commons and inspect the communal hall stuff and check out the local delivery service. All right. I guess we do that. Uh, so number 16. Try to remember. Join the uh, Discord if you haven't yet, and like all the reminders will be in there. Come hang out with us. We're fun. We can argue about French fries later. Okay, so the commons. Uh, Want to send a gift to a special someone? Martha Jean beckons to a neat stack of woven gift boxes tied with a colorful ribbons. Uh, anything you want to send to the mainland? We'll have to wait till tomorrow morning. I'm afraid the postman got stranded again. 
stranded by murder. An investigator may search their deck to score pile or hand for an item story asset and permanently remove it from their deck. If they do, check the campaign log and choose a resident with a relationship level of two or lower. Increase that resident's relationship level. Uh, each investigator earns one bonus experience. Wait, is there something I had that's a story? Story item? Item story asset. Are they gifted subs she's talking about? Uh -huh. I assume it's like a bad card I want to get rid of, but I don't think I have a bad card. Don't have a story. I know, right? That stinks. All right. Well, that was lame. What was that? 16? A side story asset. I don't have one sad all right so next should we go up to the store that's connected right yeah purple okay let's go up to the store and let's haggle for goods with the locals page 14 or codex 14 if you earn that ah, i got you okay cool okay so uh general store if you are running an errand I am running an errand. Let's go. You drop the box of framing tool or I'm sorry, farming tools and implements on the counter with a dull thud. The proprietor smiles as he stows them. Leo will appreciate that a lot. Ready for the big feast tomorrow? He chews on a strip of leathery jerky and spits into a bottle like a man. Increase Leah Atwood's relationship level. Uh, each investigator earns one bonus experience. Okay, cool. All right. So that's the end of Alessandra. All right. So we did the chapel. And we talked to what's her face. Can we pop over here? Let, yeah. All right. So Hank, Hank Hill is going to go over to the house, check to make sure their propane's doing all right. Uh, so 13, we're going to check the homestead. Thirteen, the Atwood house. You hear William and River arguing. This is all we have left. We can't turn our backs on our past, our legacy. William insists. River cuts in with a scathing look. The Hemlock legacy is did and i know several buyers in harlem who would turn this soggy island into a paradise you must decide choose one william has a point you must choose this option if hemlock or if william's relationship is two or higher let's just see if it makes us do it okay so we can't pick either of them so we have to let them fight let them fight all right so to let them figure it out so let them figure it out as the pair sling incredibly personal insults back and forth a peal of thunder silences both of them uh william's brow furrows when he sees you river turns and grimaces as well and then easy silence follows and you realize that you just eavesdrop on a very sensitive conversation decrease ah oh, i shouldn't have gone to the house Ugh, they didn't like that all right let's go actually actually with our last action i'm gonna put the sledgehammer into play so at least we get that. So that's three. Might as well get that in the play. Okay. Get to ready up. She draws one. Oh, there's Chuck. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, can't find Chuck. Now nah, we, yeah, we, we just, we just pulled Chuck. So we should be good now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So by one, all right, this is at five, cool. All right, so now that's at five. Uh, first thing we have to do with Alessandra is play Chuck. So we'll get that in the play for four. So we're good there. All right, so. I really can't do anything else with her, right? Because the only things that are left to do in the codex is four, five, Man, I feel like I'm missing a lot of things. But I just haven't gone to the old mill. It's like the only thing I haven't done. So she really can't do anything else. Right? We did six. 15, 16. Yeah, we did all that. We did 14. Um, crossroads we did, right? Yeah, we did crossroads. I mean, okay, wait, wait, I can go to the crossroad roads. And then if you are exactly one or two investigators in the game during your turn, move to a connecting location. Okay, so we can do that. 
And then we could do 12 at the old mill. And maybe I'll pull someone. Um, the old... Let's put 12 in. But you probably missed a few actions with Alessandra since she gets a free parlay action each turn. Yeah, but I only parlayed with one guy. So, and honestly, this will be the last thing I can really do. Which is just going to be drawing cards. That's really weird. Like, there's nothing else for me to do. Huh. Um, okay. The old mill is eerily silent as you poke around the over overgrowth. As thunder rumbles overhead, a long-legged grasshopper flits through the air. You note that the insect has misshapen black wings. Creepy. One, two, three. Draw three cards. Okay, so here's the thing. The only things that are left to do... Oops, not campaign log. Is four... Which is not out here. Five, seven, nine. Five, seven, nine. Oh, wait, nine? No, we did nine. We did nine, didn't we? What was nine? Oh, yeah, we did this. Yeah, that was the very first thing. So we did nine. Oh, because it lets you do it multiple times. My bad. All right, so 17. Yeah, there's nothing else to do. That's literally all we can do. So somewhere there's a four, five, seven, and 17 that we just never got to do. So, okay, whatever. So, oh wait, Hank gets three things to do still. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So... We might as well just get three resources with him. And then call it a day. So we have to, I think, lower this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have to get rid of one card. We'll get rid of that one. I think this one's good. Six, seven, eight. Okay, and that's good. All right, cool. That's the end of that. All right, so six happens. You're going to go down to five? Oh, okay. Until the end of Prelude. Well, I haven't had a resolution. Also, why is it not... What's this? If Birdie was rescued... If Birdie was rescued, R1. Hold on, why can I not? Why can I not do the end of this? Like, it doesn't give me options to move on. Oh, there we go. Okay, scenario ends. Choose resolution. I don't know. Why does it say there's three? Okay. Um, if Birdie was rescued, I don't know if Birdie was rescued. Where's my campaign log? That's really weird. Did we rescue Birdie? I don't remember rescuing Birdie, right? So I guess not. I also don't know why it's a resolution three. You need to do Twisted Woods. Okay. So resolution two. Okay. Um, R2. Oh, there is a resolution three. Dr. Mark. Yeah. Uh, no, wait, wait. There we go, yeah. All right, Dr. Marcus slams the screen door as she enters. Mother Rachel told me she found Birdie wandering around this morning. I saw him recovered at the Atwood house, and he looks just fine, babbling nonsense and reading uh, some local poetry. 
proceed to resolution three. Resolution three, Dr. Marquez pours herself a strong cup of coffee. Can't stand her. I'm going to take the uh, advantage of the cooling rain and head up to Pearl Ridge. Join me if you like. She takes a bite of her eggs and wrinkles her nose. Is that a metal taste? She discreetly spits the eggs into her handkerchief as Miss Olmstead emerges from the kitchen with a stack of flapjacks and serves several hungry guests. Do not record the victory X value of each card in the victory display. Each uh, investigator earns the bonus experience award during the prelude. Record each bonus experience under it. Blah, blah. I can't spend until next time. Make preparations. Choose one asset in the player to keep. It must be one that does normally start. Discard down to your opening hand size. Shuffle your discard pile. Discard down to your starting resources. Okay. So, five. Discard down to five. Let's hold on to the coat. Okay, we can get rid of that. Two, three. Get rid of one of the other coats. Get rid of that. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Give it two more. Uh, okay, two, three, four, five. Okay. So now we can go to the silent hearth heath. Uh, we could do the lost sitters sisters or the thing in the depths. Any suggestions? Trick cards are worth higher value because you have chuck. Okay. Trick and tactic. Uh, we'll get rid of that one then to do this one. Um, probably Silent Heath, right? That's next in line. Is that going to be terrible? Will I hate that? It's Silent Heath. Pearl Ridge. That's where she's going. Do I really want to deal with the doctor at Pearl Ridge? Probably, right? Let's do, let's do Pearl Ridge. Or the shoreline. I don't want to do the thing in the depths. I feel like the thing in the depths is bad. All right. Um, yeah, let's do the Sunny Heath, page 19. Okay. Uh, page 19, page 19. All right. So, uh, it is day two. So skip the intro too. Okay. You step out of Theo's truck into the pouring rain, accompanied by Dr. Marquez. The narrow winding road gives way to a soft sand-like ash that blankets the heath. Uh, the black rocks at the top of the hill look like jagged teeth. A, dead, a dread silence pervades everything as you walk up the hill with the professor who wears a bright yellow and blue poncho. The locals are to be believed. We want to head this way. She points up the hillside to a glimmering orchard. After hiking the steep incline, the professor lets out a gasp. Rows of crystalline trees shimmer in the light. A uh, crack of lightning from these southern clouds refracts the, a band of gorgeous a gorgeous prismatic radiance through hanging apples and knotted glass trunks. Although beautiful, you can't help but feel an anxious pang. The trees are wondrous, but they are long, dead, frozen in time. Dr. Marquez begins chipping away at the young sapling with a hammer and a chisel. Fan out and explore the ruins. Leah warned me to keep clear of the ants, whatever that means. Don't kick any anthills, I guess. All right, so five. You reach the old Pearl Estate and stop yourself uh, from walking into a yawning dark chasm in front of the dilapidated house. A shattered rooftop at the northern end of the estate tells a story of somewhat violent impact. Judging by the scattered boards, something shot out of the interior with the force of a cannonball. As you survey the ruins, you wonder or you wonder what awful you wonder what awful catastrophic befell the Pearl family. A skittering black shadow flits at the edge of your vision. When you turn to look, it's gone. Proceed the setup. Oh, God, there's so much less reading. It's so nice. Okay. So we have to clean up all the stuff first. So all the townspeople. And we'll put this with Simeon. And this goes away. 
day two will stay out. All this stuff goes away. All right, cool. So, didn't have silent heat. All right. All right, so we have that. Uh, okay, we need a bunch of different ones. One, two, three, four. Um, cracked. All right, strange mutation thing. We got that again. Fire. Right, so let's do these ones. One, two, three, four. Um, okay, I think that's all that we need from that. I really wish they came with dividers in this game. Just make it easier for me. Yeah. You know? Hollow, okay. That's what I'm missing in this one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Wait, somehow we're missing this too. I thought we grabbed this. Did I grab the wrong one? No, I guess not. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, then the last one we need is from the core box. Uh, striking fear. All right, cool. Okay, I think we have everything. Nice thing about the next week is the no prelude. That's nice. Okay, so, wait, 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 oh, this one goes back. All right, Silent Heat, that goes up. So, uh, day one, it's not otherwise remove 2A Desolution, Desolution version one. All right, so that's removed from the game. We have Agenda 1A, Act 1A, okay. Put the final locations in play, Crystal Grove, Pearl Estate, uh, Ashen Slope. Okay. Easy. Got that. But the final location to play, use the diagram. Um, okay, we'll deal with that in a second. It's very hard, so good luck with that. <laughs> Alright, Crystal. Up there. And up there. Okay. Use the diagram page for reference. Okay. Each investigator begins at the Pearly Estate. Let's we'll put that there for now. Set each of the following aside out of play. The Brood Queen Enemy. Alright. Brood Queen. Qu Brood Queen. Both copies of Crystal Parasite Enemy. Ah, uh, crystal parasite enemy. Nope. All right, both copies of crystal parasite. And the single side salt chain. Okay. Hold on. Salt chamber, lava tunnel, and crystal nursery. 
Shuffle the three. Uh, crystal. Remain straight asset cards face down. Wait, wait, shuffle the three crystal remains. Oh, the child, the mother, the father. Okay. We'll put them up top. Okay. Choose three locations random from. Wait, wait, wait. Choose three locations at random from the Horrors of the Rock encounter set. I assume that's what this is. The cavern. All right, so there's the three. We'll remove the rest without looking at them. Gather each story asset. All right, so place Dr. Rosa Marquez. All right, Dr. Rosa Marquez. Oh, she's going to die. I don't like her. Crystal Grove location. So she's here. All right, so we're shuffle the remaining cards. We have to shuffle the day two cards, right? Okay. Now we're ready to begin. Okay. So we have to finish getting this up. So these are the ones that are going to be in play. We'll put them with the two ones. I've been sleeping all night. I got an order in from Make Playing Cards. I ordered three custom Arkham campaigns that are supposed to be excellent. Did you get the Pokemon ones? That's one of the things I want to get is they have a, um, they have a custom Pokemon set one. That was sweet looking. All right. So now that's all shuffled. This goes down to zero. All right, we'll put that, actually we'll put that on this side. All right, hopefully you all can see that pretty well. Okay, cool. So they're here. We can go here and here, 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 and here, here. All right, cool. And guys, cancel my order, copyright issues. Oh my God. All right, so the dry landscape is perfectly still. A beguiling glow hangs over everything. When doom is placed on this agenda, if the brew queen enemy says, I reveal tokens from the chaos bake equal to the number of insect enemies in the victory display. Uh, okay, so we could possibly do that. So we'll do that. All right. Uh, the legacy of Pearl Ridge is a story of note amongst the locals. The Pearls were prominent, a prominent family like the Hemlocks in Atwoods, but the family vanished in a curious incident in 1906. What could have happened? When the round ends, investigators of the Pearl Ridge ruins may spend the prerequisite number of clues as a group to advance. At the Pearl Estate Ruins. All right, I guess we haven't gotten to the... Oh, the Pearl State Ruins is where we are. Okay, cool. I think we're good now, chat. So, um, all right, the, the ruins. Uh, the wreck of the once great house stands precariously on the edge of a cliff. The, decays, the decaying roof looks like an empty patchwork. All right, so we can just resign and call it a day. I like that strategy. Well, we might as well gain that clue or go for that clue. Oh yeah, Chuck Fark is good. Holy cow. Okay, so we have four book against three. What's myriad? What's the myriad keyword? All right, first thing we'll do is put on some fine clothes. Cost one. And then second one is I'm going to test, um, what is it? 
three, four. I'm going to test five against three. You can have three in your deck and only have to pay one XP. Uh, oh, okay. All right, so five against three. Plus one, let's go. So I get the clue. Is that phrase ad pop up where there's two kids eating ice cream? Get your own. <laughs> All right. Um, so next I will then go to the crystal cove here. Uh, so a once living orchard looks more like a delicate glasswork at gallery. The apple trees have crystallized and reflect the light in a shifting patterns. All right. So comes with two clues. Investigators at this may spend two clues as a group to add Crystal remains you control in the victory display. Okay, worry about that later. Oh, so we have to discover all the clues here. Then we can like get her, I guess. But then we can read the text with her. All right, we'll do that in a second. Okay, so now it's Hank Hill's turn. Let's have him go over to the Ashen Slope and see what's over there. So the endless stench of ash appears to be completely devoid of life. All right. Force, when you reveal ash and soap, test four foot. If I fail, I take two damage. Cool. Looking good already. Probably get those clues with Pilfer next turn. Yeah. Hey, no, no, this is uh, Arkham Horror. All right, we're gonna test four against four. See if I can succeed. Come on. No, fail. Take two damage. All right, I have two life left. Perfect. Perfect. I'll have to put on the leather coat. Actually, I'll do that now. I'll put on the leather coat. And then uh, third action, we'll just pop down here. Just in case. <laughs> Okay, uh, there are no enemies yet, so wait, wait, wait. Uh, when the Doom is placed on this agenda. Okay, we'll do that in a second. There's no enemies, so we ready everything up. Draw a card. Gain a resource. Ready up. Draw a card. Uh, up to six. I've heard many good things about the second edition of this board game. Well, this is the LCG, so it's not the Arkham Horror, the board game. Um, it's the LCG version, so it's the card game. Um, but I guess they've done a second edition, so maybe you are talking about that. <laughs> All right, so when Doom is placed on this agenda, if Brew Queen is set aside, reveal tokens in the Chaos Bag equal to the number of insect enemies in the villain display. Or in the victory display. Uh, so there are no insect enemies, so I don't have to do any, right? So I think we're good still. My bad. No, you're good, man. Okay. So now, let's test our two against our four. Um, yeah, and we, then we can use Pilfer, right? Four? We do have four. It's a classic board game. It's what got me into board games. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to pay four to do Pilfer. Three, four. Um, so we're testing four foot. Four foot against two. Hopefully we're good. Did you do that? Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't. You're right. I was like, why does it feel off? Uh, is Arkham hard, harder than Marvel Champions as a solo player in your opinion? Um... I was so used to the prelude where we didn't have to do back cards. It's also welcome, Curry. It's different. I don't know if harder is the right word. It's it's much different. He helps with pilfer. Oh, that's right. We'll get plus two tactic. How to get into Star Wars Unlimited, by the way. Uh, that's the newest card game. How to get into it? Yeah, I've done a lot of games with it. Just uh, get the starter decks. Test two book. Increase the difficulty for each layer location in play. Uh, there is. Blight, Blight, Ruins. Okay, so test two book against four. Do my agenda two. Yeah, I have one. I have one. Minus one, we succeed. So that's done. 
No, it's all good. All right, so, uh, second pack card. Uh, okay, put this in the play in your threat area. You cannot play assets or events. At the end of the round, discard this. Okay. Product placement. Heck, heck yeah. All right, so we'll spend four. Now we're testing four foot against that. Now, you get plus two skill value when performing a skill test during the resolution of that event. So we'll get the plus two, right? Yeah, we'll do that. So it's six against two. If you succeed, choose a non elite enemy location or reveal location automatically. All right, we have to worry about that. So we have three clues now. So we almost have enough to succeed. Uh, so that was our first action. Then we'll talk to Dr. Whatever Faces, who I don't like. All right, so if it's act one, uh, it is act one. She holds up a round piece of glass to light. It is cross-sectioned of a petrified tree. Given the gossamer patterns, the professor pockets the sample. The apple orchard wasn't petrified. The structure of the wood itself changed. The cross-section is a dozen different trees, each of its own history and rings, all crystallized. Draw three cards and investigate to trigger this during a different act. Okay. So wait, we should probably put that we talked to her, right? I, don't know, I guess we don't have to. So we draw three cards. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got the mask. I do like the mask. All right, let's use an action to get the mask in play. Oh, wait, we don't have one. So let's use an action to get a resource. And then we'll use another action to pay for the mask. I just like the mask. So we have three clues. So let's. He can't really test four. All right, we'll gain a uh, thing with him. How many cards do we have? Two, three, four. We'll draw another card. Helen Peters. Now right, we can't play her yet, but we might want to. Upgrade your chucks. Upgrade one to two a bit. Nice. All right. We'll draw one more card. Uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right. No enemies. So we get to ready up. Beguile. Ah, where's pod? Discard cards on the top of the encounter deck until the enemy is discarded. Attach where's pod to the enemy and spawn at the connecting location. Okay. Brood soldier. Okay. Dude, spawn at a connecting location. Um, all right, we'll put it at the slope because I'm probably going to go kill it there. All right. Uh, oh, then we have to get a resource. Okay. One goes on the here. Now, that's a two. Uh, when Doom is placed on the agenda, a brew queen enemy says that no. Insect enemies. There is an insect enemy. So, reveal tokens from the chaos bag equal to the number of insect enemies. So, reveal. Okay, it's not one of the skull or the other thing. So, we don't have to do that. Alright, back card. Back card. First back card. Test three book. For each point you fail, you must either lose one action or place one of your clues on your location. Um, throw away two cards. So we get four, five, six book against three. Enemies in the victory display. Oh, you're right. It is in the victory display. My bad. Well, we didn't do it anyway, so. Uh, six against three, minus two. So we succeed on that. All right, next one is test five fight. Okay, reduce difficulty for each one damage on you. Well, I have three damage on me, so I only have to do two. Okay, so two against five. That's one. All right, cool. 
Uh, dissonant voices at the end of the round. Sorry, we should have discarded that last time. Okay. Now it's our turn. So we might as well start with Hank and go over there. When Blue Soldier is ready, its location gets plus two shroud. Might as well go over there and just punch that thing in the face, right? It's only got two life. You may commit long shot to a fight or evasion testing as an enemy at your location or connect. I think we'll hold on to long shot, right? We don't need to do that. Um, strong armed, we probably don't need yet, right? Oh, let's do stout hearted. Okay. So let's move Hank over, Hank Hill over to the Ashen Slope. Okay. And then we could play stout hearted, right? So Hank Samson deck only play when you engage a non elite enemy. So we're, we would now engage it, right? Wait, he's aloof. I don't know what's, ugh, I need the keywords. I don't remember the keywords off the top of my head. Actually, he might not engage us. Does not automatically engage with investigators of the location. Okay. Spawns, it spawns unengaged. All right, so we would need to engage it. Yeah, so we'd have to engage it, but then if we did, we can just use stout hearted. So I'm gonna spend an action to engage it. Now the reason I'm gonna do this is because it's the fast card, so it doesn't count as an action. Um, we can move two damage from us to the enemy. So we'll spend the two. We get to move two damage from us and deal it to the enemy. So I get to basically heal too, right? And then he dies. So. Uh, this is a victory. Attach enemy gains elusive. I don't think that matters. Okay, so I think it's I think we're good. So now we have one in the victory display. So we have to do that whole thing later on. Okay, cool. And then let me spend a three to play Helen Peters. So we actually get one more fight, which is sweet. Uh, with Helen. Helen's a puncher, so I like it. Okay, so now we could take uh, what's her face, Alessandra, move her over here and start questing. All right, I don't really have trick or tactics, so let's quest four. Against four. Let's spend an offering so it's six against four. And try to get a clue. That's one. Okay. So we got a clue. One, two, three, four. So we have enough to move on. Uh, but we have to get both of us over here, right? Um, right when the round ends, investigators, the Pearl of State runes may spend the pre -run. Oh, we can just do that now. All right, so I don't know if we need this last clue. So we can move Alessandra over to the ruins. And then when the round ends, investigators at the Pearl Estate ruins may spend the prerequisite number of clues as a group to advance. She has all the clues, so let's move over. And this way we'll be good to move on to the next thing. Um, and this is still pretty low, so I feel like that's, that's maybe good. Okay, so enemy phase, there are no enemies. Um... Ready up phase. Okay. All right, cool. And that is everything, right? Yeah, that's everything. No victory. <laughs> yeah, we don't want. <laughs> All right, so now end of the round, we spend the four clues to advance. All right, amongst the ruins of Pearl Estate, you find Susan Pearl's diary. It details uh, attempts to explore tunnels beneath the ridge. They were called the Warrens due to their maze-like structure. Perhaps some of the Pearl family disappeared in the surrounding tunnels, but why? You resolve to investigate. Randomly put the three set aside locations from the Horrors of the Rock and Counter set in the plate unrevealed, adjacent to the three starting locations. Explain page 20. Alright, so it goes... 
Well, that shows four places. All right, hold on. So, we only put three CSI locations in the Horrors Rock and the play unrevealed adjacent to the three starting locations. Page, page 20. It shows four places. <sighs> okay, I'll just I'll just assume it's this one, this one, this one. That's fine for now. It has a spot down here too, but we only have three places. Adjacent to the three star lab. Take the remaining set side locations, salt chamber, lava tunnel, and nursery. Okay. Shuffle them together and deal them randomly face down beneath each location. Okay. So. Put this one here. Put this one here. And this one here. Okay. Shuffle together. To, okay. So that's done. So now, if there are no clues in your location, draw a top card beneath your location. Okay. Investigators at your, at your location spend one group, as a group to look at the top card beneath your location. You may place that card in the bottom of its stack. There one more. All right. So we need to get crystal remains in the victory display. Okay. How do we get to the caverns? Doesn't really say how to do that. If there are no clues to your location, draw the top card beneath your location. Okay. Oh wait, I feel like I'm missing something. Cause I can't, like I can't get to these locations. There's no connecting things. Um, wait, let me just see what the bottom is. No, it doesn't show connecting. Yeah, so how do you get to it? So one group that had a crystal remains you control the victory display. Okay. They're connected orthogonally. So I can just hop down in between here. It'd be really nice if they explained that. Okay. It's really weird. Yeah, like it never even explains that that's how it they're connected. Okay, whatever. Whatever, that's very weird. All right, so that was the end of the turn. So um, now we have to do the Doom thing, right? So Doom goes up to three. Uh, after when Doom is placed on this agenda, the Brew Queen is set aside. Reveal tokens from the bag equal to the number in the victory display. There is one in the victory display now. It's a plus one. So we don't have to do the Queen. Uh, then we need back cards, right? Back card. Back card. It's very confusing. The image guys. Are, yeah, right? Like, the image guy makes no sense. I don't understand why there's four, but there's only three. So that makes no logical sense to me. And again, it should. why wouldn't you just have the icons or something, like, explain on the card? Like, they've done that before. Just explain the back of the card that's connected to the locations next to it. Oh, no. Me, me as Manic Shadow. Aloof Hunter at night. All right. All right. So that is going to go there. Uh, all right. So Aloof Hunter cannot be damaged except by spell, relic, or science. When you discard one or more cards from your hand. All right. So it's just going to chill and follow us around. I've, that's right. I remember the shadow just like hangs out. All right. Test three brain. We do have three. Uh, for each point you fail. So do we have anything that we want to do? I 
Uh, play after another investigator. No, it's not another investigator. Okay. So let's just test her three against three. In multiple scenarios. I guess. They should just explain it somewhere then now. Like, it's not explained literally at all. What's the skull? Minus X. It's half the number of insect enemies rounded up. So it's minus one. So I failed. All right. So... For each point you fail, choose a different one. Discard one card random from your hand. The nearest insect enemy. All right, let's discard one card random from your hand. One, two, three. Third one down. Ah, oh, it's a talisman. Sad. Okay. So, back on track. I guess let's go to the cavern. All right. Uh, miasmatic shadow. Should we evade this thing? So let's evade. It's four against three. Um, it is a trick. So we'll get the plus two. So it's six against three. And then we'll gain two resources for fun. So it's a two, three, four. Uh, this was just one we said, right? So, evaded. It's at the estate. So, we can just chill there. Okay. Then, oh, that was our step one. Step two, we'll go to this cavern, I guess, and flip it over. Alright, comes with two clues. Alright, daytime, move to a connecting location. Uh, group one's per round. Okay, that's, that's fine. Alright, so let's test... Uh, four book against two. Might as well just test the four against two, right? Minus one? Cool. Yeah, I'm going to say the mask. I think we're still... Four against two I feel pretty good about because we only have one minus three. Um, and then, like, a tablet, and I think we're good then, so. Okay, so now it is Hank Hill's turn. He only has one book, so he's useless with booking. I mean, is it worth having him? I mean, there's not a lot of things to punch, right? So we have that. We have nothing to punch. I don't know if we should pop him down to the cavern. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. That's how we got to replenish it. Thank you. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, all right. So let's pop down to this cavern and just see what it's like, I guess. Oh, wait. Um, if there are no clues at your location, draw the top card beneath your location. Investigators to look. All right, so we need to get a thing in the victory display. We need clues. Okay. So let's go down to the cavern and check it out. See what's down here. All right, so we can move and it comes in with two clues. All right, so just clues. So basically there's clues. And when there's no clues, we can take an action to look at the card underneath. We want the card to be, I guess, a crystalline thing. Whatever that is. And that's how we kind of move on, right? Man, thank God we're not taking this at night. There's so many horrors. Okay. So we'll move two. We'll move one, two. Just in case an enemy comes out and he can like punch the enemy, right? Like that's all he's good for right now, is punching enemies. So, okay. Enemy turn. Enemies exhausted, so they can't do anything. Uh, so we ready up. Well, first they ready up. And we ready up. Um, okay. Uh, one more. That's all good. Okay. So now this goes to four. Uh, we have to pull one to see if the queen comes into play. Minus one. Now back card each. Okay. Uh, first one is test three brain. What do we have? We have three. 
I'm going to test uh, throw away two brains. So it's five against three. Ooh, so we failed by one. Take one damage. Um... You can only be assigned to an asset you control. Yeah, we'll put it on the guy. That's fine. I mean, not that I want him to die or anything, but if he takes one damage, I think that's okay. Alright. Back card on this side is test three. Uh, each point you fail, take one horror. Alright, three head against three. Um, okay, we'll just test three against three. That's fine. Oh, that doesn't seem good. Oh, that's just one. Okay, so we fail by one, so we take one horror. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we'll start with her. And we'll clue um, four against two, right? Yeah, four against two. Okay. So we got the clue. So we have two clues. So now, if there are no clues in your location, draw the top card beneath your location. So we might as well do that, I guess. So there's only one card, so it's the top, I guess. All right, so we'll draw it. Crystallized Nursery. Put this into play adjacent to location from which it was drawn. Okay. See, double crystallized dreams in the trash, but I don't. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's push all this up a little bit. So this is going to come into play. Uh, it comes with four clues. All right. So put it into play. All right. So page 21. Uh, Crystalline Nursery. Okay. You enter. We don't go to it, right? Okay. Well, we'll see. Um, you enter a massive cavern size of the amphitheater filled with milky white crystals innumerable insects hang from the walls and bask on the floor in pale watery light that filters down from a hole in the ceiling you realize the opening above is a massive cha uh, chasm in front of the pearl estate a low subsonic hum permeates the room you feel as though you have entered a sacred place gather one of the set aside crystal remains cards along with two the top two cards of the encounter deck shuffle them together and place the three cards face down under crystal okay um so wait, wait. where are the crystal remains cards? What did we do with them? Are they these? Yeah, these are these. Okay, so we take the top one and then we take two encounter cards. Put it below here. All right, so we need to take one direct horror. Okay, so she can handle horror, but she's got a clue really hard well let's move these aside let's just move these over here so we can see them still okay so we need the we need that thing that lets us draw more horror cards right oh so you use like our foot what is that called Pilfer. Yeah, we do get a free move. So we basically need to test a bunch off of there and try to win. All right, that's going to be tough. Um, hmm. Yeah, we do get a free move. I mean, she could take a lot of horror. So I guess it's not the worst thing in the world. And just keep testing. I guess is what we'll do. And then once we do it, then we can spend a bunch of clues... So we just need to, we just need to, okay, wait, wait, let me think about this. So all we need to do.
is we need to get the clues off, find one of those special cards, right? Oh, we can spend clues. Okay. If each investigator... All right. So we need two clues as a group to add a crystal remains you control to the victory display. So each undefended investigator has resigned or there one more. Okay. All right. So we need to put a crystal remains thing in the victory display. In order to do that, we have to come down to crystal crove and put it there. So as long as we clear the clues off of this, we can search through these cards and hopefully get it right. Chuck to see another card. That's true. Let's do that. Let's do um, Chuck. So we're gonna play a trick, a myriad, gain two resources, and draw a card. Uh, so at three, four, five, six, seven, so seven. Draw a card. Uh, it's fine. Close. Try to find as many crystal remains as you can. Do I need to find as many? It just says find one. I guess more is better, but as long as I find one, I'm okay. All right, so with the next action, let's just draw a card, I guess. Yeah, with our last action, let's just draw a card. Faustian Bargain. Okay. But just focus on one for now? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So she's done. So again, there's not much he can do because he can't quest at all. I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, all right. So there's nothing he can do. One, two, three, four, five. Draw a card. Actually, yeah, we'll draw a card for six. Okay. There's literally nothing else he can do. Let's do another card. Let me handle this. Six, seven. Um, and we'll just get a resource. Three, four, five, six, yeah. Okay. I think that's all we can. All right, so Aloof is going to come over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Um, he's aloof, so he's not going to engage us, right? He's just going to chill out. Yeah, I think he just chills out. Okay. So we ready up. Perception. Ugh. Actually, that will help us when we want test and let us draw a card at least. All right. Um, that's another thing. Ready this up. It's a thing. Draws a card. Stunning blow. Okay. Yeah. All right. So then that's five. We have one enemy in there, so we draw a token. Minus one. And bad cards. Alright. If an enemy pops up, we can punch it in the face. Um, Alright. Test three book. For each point you fail by, you must either lose an action or place one of your clues at your location. Okay. Test three book. You know what? Let's use a mask. And we're going to test uh, six against three. What's that? Minus two. If you're at a lair location, reveal another token. Am I at a lair? No, I'm in a cave. I'm in a dark cave. All right, succeeded. Oh, lair's down there. Okay. All right, his bad card. Uh, Put the Chroma Blight into your play in your threat area. After you draw one or more cards from your deck, place one resource on Chroma Blight. Uh, if there are six or more, uh, put a aside crystal. Okay, so that's going to stink deal with that later. I mean, I'm just going to punch that thing in the face. I don't really care. 
Okay, so first thing we'll do is we'll invade this, right? Might as well. So we'll evade uh, four, five against three. Oh, shoot. No, we succeeded. Okay. So we evaded. Get charged back on the mask. Let's oh do our free move action to come up here. All right, because we get one per group. Group limit. Yep, okay. One per group. So we'll go up there. Um, okay. And then she will quest. So first thing we'll do is we'll do uh perception. So four, five, six against three. Don't have to invade, it's not engaged. Oh, I guess not. All right, so we just left, which is fine. So wait, this is our first action then. Okay. So we're questing six against, or six against three. Minus one, we succeed. All right, so we get a clue, and then we get to draw a card because of perception. Grift. Choose an enemy at your location and test zero foot. For each point you succeed, gain one resource. Okay. Um, let's test once more. Let's test. I don't really have a trick card to use, right? Let's throw away Grift. So we have five against three. Wait, wait, wait. When you play attack, yeah, yeah, okay. So it's five against three. Uh, plus one, okay. So this is now down to two. And we were at three, so now we're at four. So three, four. All right, we'll test once more. We'll use the mask. So it's now six against three. Hey, Beast Now, how's it going? All right, succeed. Okay, cool. It is going, dude. It is going. We're hanging in there. All right, cool. So now... Finally show up to start banning people? About time. Dude, everyone was, everyone was mocking Chick-fil-A. It was the worst. You have a lot of bands to catch up on. All right, I guess let's move our guy somewhere else or should we do, because I don't want him to stay up here because I don't want him to get family in town. Ugh. Tell them that they should be watching the stream. Oh, wait, 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 you automatically draw the top card. I didn't realize that. I thought you would have to draw it. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> Actually, maybe we'd go Hank up there and we spend two clues to look at the top card of your location and you can play it on the bottom of your deck. Actually, that's what we should do. Okay, so let's go up here. We can take one hard, that's fine. So we'll... Spend a thing to spend two clues, right? Um, so this states, investigators, a location. Oh, it's not, it's not an action. So we can just spend two clues. So we spent the two clues. Look at the top card beneath the location. You may place that card in the bottom of its stack. So we want the, it to be the crystallized one, right? So let's look at the stack. Oh, it is the crystallized remains.
All right, so we just need to get this card and then run it down to Crystal Crow Cove and spend two to add to the victory display. And at least we win one thing. Crystal is defeated. Shuffle them in the top two cards in the Okay, cool. So we'll put that back on top. All right, so that's all we need to do. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Um, so there's nothing really else to do with Hank. So we'll just draw two more things. So that's six, seven, eight, nine. So bring them up to nine resources. All right. Enemy readies up. I think he was here. I don't know, you all make it sound like I should do more. But we can just resign. <laughs> Alright, let's just first run this down. Um, okay. So, we will ready up. We got that. Got another Beguile. Ready this. Um, draw a card. When we draw a card, we have to put a thing on there. Ah, it's Peter. Good old Peter. Um, we have too many cards. Just get rid of that one. Okay, cool. This goes up to six. Uh, draw a token because there's one enemy in the victory display. Minus one. Draw back cards. One, one. All right, first back card is test three brain. Uh, we'll throw away two Beguiles. That's five total. So five against three. Plus one. Success. All right. This one is... Uh, day. Test two brain. Increase the difficulty test by two if you have five or more cards in your hand. I do. Okay. So I have a lot of cards. We'll just test it. Three. My three against their four. Wow, we actually tied. Okay, so we succeeded. That's good. So, good. So weird, you've seen so few enemies. There's definitely bugs in this deck. Um, all right, after you, you end your turn... Oh, shoot, we forgot to do that. So, we have to end our turn. We take a horror. And draw the top card. It's, it's group limit once per round. So, he doesn't have to take a horror, right? She just does because it's a group limit. All right, put this in the play under your play area. So we have that. Um. Yeah. So the way the way I look at that is says after your turn ends, take one direct horror, drop the top, draw the top card of the stack beneath the crystal crystal nursery. Group limit once per round. I don't know if it's just drawing it is once per round or taking horrors once per round. Let's just say we both take a horror, but we only draw once. I don't know. That might be how that works. Okay. Probably didn't put them in. I'm pretty sure I did. It can only be done once. All right, so we don't take the horror. Perfect. All right, so now with her, if we just... Hey, Cap. If we just come down here, so we can move once, get the free movement, and then do the thing, and the crystal remains goes in the victory display. All right, I'm actually, when your turn begins, take one damage or horror. Just take a horror. That's fine. So we might as well do that, right? At least we know we have one. Jeff, for nearly three hours and just started to play. We're at, I think I'm getting kind of near the end. Kind of? All right, so let's do that. Let's do one movement. Come here. This thing's aloof, so it won't engage me. I'm going to use the free movement action to come down here. Now that I've gone past that, I get one more on the fox mask. And then I'm just going to do... Spend two clues. So I'm down to one. And add crystal remains control to the victory display. So at least we did one. We've at least done one. Um, 
All right, so objective, if each undefeated investigator has resigned and there are one or more crystal remains in the victor's plate, advance. I mean, chat, we can go to bed early. I don't know if I really want to see what the other ones are. I'm not gonna lie. All right, what do we have going on? We don't, we would have to get more clues, which is fine. We probably flip it over. Um, or play twenty strong? No, I did play a game of twenty strong offline. A game of twenty strong offline. I'll be uploading it soon. Actually, it's uploaded. I just have to do the thumbnail and stuff. Um, all right. So we've technically. But, we'll be able to advance and hopefully that means we win. Do we risk all the bugs coming out or not? I mean, I guess we can go to this cavern, get some clues just in case and see what it's like. And maybe we get a second one and call it a day. See if we can do it fast. Cause if this comes in with like two clues, we need like four clues total. Well, we might want to go for these clues then. The reason being, I don't really know. It's pretty easy. Yeah, I guess that's true. All right, let's go to the easy location. We'll go over here and we'll get some clues and maybe we'll just try to do one more. Maybe. All right, so now Hank's turn. He's going to come down here. This is limit once per round, right? Or once per group. Okay. One. Two. Three. So he's down here too, just in case. Cool. Enemy's turn. They're going to pop over here. Uh, then we're going to ready up. Draw the card. Ah, Zamcano. All right. Nearest empty location. Uh, it's not empty. It's not empty. Put them in the dry borrow. And we get a thing. That's fine. This gets another one on it. Draw a card. We're going to have too many. It's now resourceful. I'm just going to get rid of the long shot. I don't think I need it. Okay. We're up to seven now. Draw a card. Or draw a thing. Minus three. That's fine. Bad cards. Bad card. Card. All right, first one is uh, put calcification into play under your control. The first time you move each round, take one direct damage. Okay. Yeah, I thought I was gonna lose somebody by now, but or something. Uh, Miasmatic Shadow just chills there, so he's just chilling. Oh, I'm going to be discarding cards, though. Shoot. All right, the only thing I don't like about that is I will discard cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, because I'm at eight cards. <laughs> Son of a gun. Oh, I guess we have to play cards. Is there anything I can play? Mm. Take one direct damage. All right, we're not going to do that yet. Um, no, I don't want to kill him for fun. I don't want to play any longer than I have to. <laughs> All right, so Mia's Magic Shadow. Just going to chill there for a second. We'll test four against two. It's the number of insect enemies in play and in the victory display. There's one, so we succeed. Test again. Four against two. Last one. Okay, so now there are no clues here. No clues in location. Draw the top card beneath it. Okay, so uh, I'm going to test three feet because I just want to get past this thing. So let's do the fo fox mask. Test six against three. Oh, we succeeded. Thank goodness. And get rid of calcification just to get rid of that. That was our other action. Okay, so now it's 
his turn. We're going to spend two clues to look at this card. All right. Uh, put it in play adjacent to a location. Okay. So this is going to come with six. All right. Commit his glory just to lose a card. All right, hold on. This comes in with six clues. Uh, search the encounter deck and discard pile for colorless larva and spawn it at this location. All right. You don't have to spend clues for that? Oh, you're right. I don't. I don't know what I was thinking that. You're right. It's just an action. Colorless larva. Okay. It's aloof. Oh, I could punch it though, right? Oh, I could finally punch something. All right. Color. What is this? Uh, larval tunnel. Uh, Bilus stench wafts from the tunnel, crawling with pillowy white insects. Monstrous lava uh, stare blindly out in the dark with milky white eyes. The insect colony keeps its young in this tunnel to mature. Judging by the glory and desiccated remains on the floor, the older brood soldiers feed them in a steady supply of local wildlife and anyone foolish enough to venture into the caves. Uh, gather one of the set aside crystal remains cards along with two top cards. Shuffle them into the... All right. Do their usual thing. So one, two, shuffle all these up. All right, so we're both here. I can move here for free. I have to successfully evade. How else would I see it? Oh yeah, but the insect will go to two things. Okay. Oh wait. After successfully Evade an enemy at Larval Tunnel. Discard the top card of the stack. So we want to just evade that card. Alright, so let's move for free over to here. Because we're allowed to move to a connecting location. Should we engage him and then evade him? Just to look at the top card? Doesn't make sense, does it? So we have to keep evading enemies there to look at the top card. I don't know the best way to do that. Um, hmm. can also use cards so we won't discard any and that's important for some reason i forgot why uh, maybe that doesn't matter anymore maybe that's something else oh that's for the miasmic shadow all right so let's spend one to come over to the or we, we did that for free let's engage the larva so now he's engaged with us and then we'll evade it so we can just see the top card and see what it is. Or not see it, but we get it. Don't throw away strong armed. It'll help if the queen comes. All right. So we'll do uh, four against one. It's probably overkill, but whatever at this point. So we're going to evade it. Minus two. So it is evaded, which means after you successfully evade an enemy, draw the top card of the stack beneath this. Which is Crystal Remains. Oh, okay. Man, we are having good luck with that. All right, so. We take a horror. So we might as well just run away, right? And just come here with him and with her. Get the second one and then I'll just resign the following turn. I think that's the play for right now.
Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So we'll move over here. And we're done there. Okay, that's everything. So, ready up. Gains another resource. Ready up. Gain another resource. Uh, draw a card. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Draw a card. Pitchfork. Okay. Uh, this goes up to eight. Now, first this went up to eight. So, uh, an acrid stench wafts from somewhere deep below. The skittering of hundreds of legs fills the air before a monstrous insect emerges from underground. It has sickly translucent skin and a pair of shriveled black wings that hangs limply over its back. The creature stares at you with uneasy beating be the eyes, waving its antenna to announce your presence. Discard cards at the top of the encounter deck until the insect is discarded. The lead investigator draws that card. Okay, now. Okay, Brood Soldier. Uh, also, he stands up. Um, shuffle the encounter discard pile into the deck. Okay, that's fine. So let's get shuffled back in. So now each insect loses aloof and patrol and hunter. Okay, so he's just going to attack. That's fine. Kill it with fire card. There's going to be a punch in the face with fire. All right, this goes down to zero. Now, after... When Doom is placed on this agenda... I, I assume we still do that, right? So, um... There's still only one insect enemy in the victory display. Minus one. Okay. All right. So then bad cards, right? Bad card. Bad card. Uh, test three head. I'll just do three against three. All right. So I failed by one. Uh, was we'll assign a horror. To an asset. Okay. That's fine. Test another one. Attach fungal rot to an item you control. If you cannot, gain surge. Alright, we'll, we'll attach it to the armor. Okay. Now it's our turn. Now, when our turn begins, we're going to do... We're going to do... Uh, what's our guy? Hank first. Hank Hill. And after he attacks and kills this insect... By punching it to death, we can do a free movement and then move and then move. And then she should just be able to move, spend resources, and like maybe move and move or something. Something like that. And that's what we're going to do. So when his thing begins, he takes one horror. Because uh, he's got, um, he's just holding on to the thing. So we're going to put it on our ally first. All right, we've been waiting for this chat. We've been waiting to punch things in the face, let me tell you. I mean, we really need the brute force. I mean, we're swinging right now. We can attack it for five against three, six against three. I mean, six against three plus one damage. I think all we have is minus three in here, so we should be able to succeed. This is minus two. Oh, wait, are we at a lair? No, we're in a cave. Okay, that's fine. So we punched in the face. We did two damage. It it, it, it died. Stunning blow is the best art. Yeah, it's really good. All right, so we punched in the face. Really successful. Really, we're really, we're really strong at punching things in the face. So we're going to move now. All right, first we're going to move for free from here to here. Then move one here. One additional action to move out of it. Oh, Oh, I don't have an additional action. <laughs> okay. I see how it is. Okay. Uh, there's nothing really else I can do. So, I'll just gain more resources. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. I do want to be there. Alright, we'll just hang out there. Um... Sorry, you're right. I thought she had it and she could do it. 
So that that's fine. We'll just hang out there. Um. So we'll use his action. We didn't use the free action then. So we used all of his actions to basically do nothing. All right. So now she can go. We'll use the free action with her. Then spend. No, it's that you control. Wait, so we can't do that. She would just move and we have to hang out. But she doesn't control it. So she can't do it. Okay. I think we just have to hang out. I don't think we can do anything yet. We get one more in the fox mask because we got away from this thing. Oh, this thing should have came down here. Okay. Um, to the side of the stand to grab uh, some chocolate. <laughs> All right. So basically, it's she had to control it, but she doesn't control it. So we just have to all hang out here for the like basically this turn that's all that's all we can really do and then we'll start with her to, no we'll start with him to spend the resources that she has to put the crystal thing in and then move and we should be good yeah i think that'll be good then okay okay um Really quick, what's elusive? This is not in the rule book. JKL. Or I guess it's not in here. Let's see if it's in here. We want to avoid the investigation. Okay, so let's ready up. Uh, I don't think we did this last time, so we should have done this. Uh, so we'll ready up. Get another resource. Draw a card. Bianca. This gets another one on it. Ready everything up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He gets another resource. All right, so this goes up by one. We have to pull a token to see if the queen comes out. Minus two, it doesn't. Um, that's when your turn begins. That's fine. Um, okay, so bad card, bad card. All right. Test three. Okay. Plus so three head against three. Two tokens now, right? No, why? It's only the victory display, right? Number of insect in the victory display. Yeah, there's only... Oh, wait. These should also come over here. Before I forget. There's only one in the victory display. You killed the second bug? When? Oh, yeah, I did. I didn't put it in the victory display. I forgot I punched that thing. All right, so two tokens. We did the one. The second one is... Oh, my God. Did we just spawn it? The symbol is revealed. <sighs> okay. All right, spawn twenty one. Uh, okay. Uh, the massive corpulent form of an insect lurches out of the dark tunnel. The brew queen's antenna wave in the dark, emitting unsettling vibrations. In moments, JSVO, thank you for the follow. In moments, the cave um, is filled with her brood, each of them glowing a faint blue light. Spawn the location nearest to you with the most investigators at a cave location. Okay. Remove each insect enemy from the victory display and spawn it at the brood queen's location. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay. That's frustrating. Okay. All right. We'll deal with that in a second. Uh, we'll test the three against it. Uh, so we failed by one. So we take a horror. 
<laughs> All right, this one is test five, reduce the difficulty for each horror. Uh, so it's only a four against three. Okay, we'll just fail it or try to, try to succeed. Insect in the victory display. There is no more in the victory display, so we succeed. Sharon Vu the sea if I should she said aggression because I feel like <laughs> Okay. So Brew Queen has five life. Here's the thing, chat. I'm just gonna punch that thing in the face a lot. So we deal th three, four damage. Um, what X is the current day number? Okay. Seven life? No, it doesn't get seven. Uh, no, it's seven life. Where X plus X health. Where, oh no, you're right. It is nine health. So it'd be nine health against three four fight so one two three four fight for each insect so it's four fight seven life best to kill the smaller ones i don't think i can take that kind of damage that many times though i can't all right i can't do nine um all right so we can probably punch the smaller ones they're only two life. But welcome horror right here. I'm just gonna punch things in the face and that's all I need to know and smile. <laughs> Evades the queen, try to get out. If the queen is evaded, will the queen attack him then or no? Alright, um when her when my turn begins, take a horror. So, first action, we're going to test five, four. We'll test four. No, we test five. We test five fight against his three. Evade the queen, she wouldn't attack. All right, so we have, all right, wait, wait, wait. So if we have her go first and evade the queen, So let's test four, five, six against three. <laughs> All right, so it succeeded. So we have evaded the brood queen. Now, oh, we can't spend, we can't, we can't leave. This was the whole annoying thing is we have to get rid of the crystal remains with him first. So she has to just hang out there. There's nothing she can do. That was the annoying thing we had going on. So what we'll do is we'll spend three resources. Uh, yeah, we'll spend our three resources to get the gun. The gun has three ammo. Put the three on it. We will use the gun. Four, four, five, six, seven. We'll do seven foot to shoot one of the brood soldiers. Give it the chair. Last one. Okay. So it does plus one damage. Okay, no, that's fine. And kills a soldier. Done. Victory display. That's everything she could do. We already did his horror thing. So now he is going to attack five against three. Uh, five against three. We're just going to throw away this for a fist. So it's six against three. Shooting the brood soldier. 
All right, success. That is dead. Okay. Now, we can then spend to the resources to put the crystal remains into the victory display. Now, that's going to ready up and we have to evade it. Is packed with extra damage easily next turn for the VP. Well, that's what I'm wondering. Do we attack it now and then have Hank start the next round and just keep punching in the face, right? Can we attack it now when it's evaded or no? Are you not allowed to attack evaded enemies? I can't remember if we're allowed to attack him or not. All right, so a brute force with a long shot. Oh, okay. As long as it isn't aloof. You can attack an enemy not engaged with you. Okay. All right, so brute force. While brute force is committed to a test, uh, gain plus two and its text gains, you deal two extra damage. Um, okay. And you may commit long shot to a fight or evasion test against the enemy at your location or connect to location. Okay. So we'll do that. So we can then swing five against. Oh, it's just two now. So it's five against two because we killed the other two insects. So five against two. Get to the chopper. What's skull? Half the number, so it's just one. So it's minus one, so we succeed. That's fine. So we deal one damage, two damage, three, four, five damage. Oh my God, we're going to kill that thing dead soon. Okay, that's that. It's a lot more than five? No, it's not. It shouldn't be. Where would it else be? Because just one, two, three, four, five. The sledgehammer just dealt plus one. So I dealt one, sledgehammer's two, three, four, five damage. Oh, so I only deal four damage? It's only four. Brute force is only a basic attack. Can't go with that. Ah, that stinks. All right, so it's four damage. So let's put four on it. Friends, your skill number? Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, that's that. So now, enemy phase, they don't really do anything. This readies up. I ready my stuff. Draw a card. This increases. We're running out of tokens. Okay, another P. I don't have enough tokens. All right, I don't need any more resources from him. That's fine. Um, okay, so we don't have to do the Brood Queen anymore, right? Yeah, the Brood Queen's already there. That's fine. Bad cards. Uh, attaches to an item asset. We'll do it to this. The uh, the clothing. Test three head. Um. Okay. So three. We'll throw away two peats. So it's five against three. Minus one. All right. Success. Okay. All right, so it's five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have to do five damage. Sledgehammer next turn, we're the strong arms. What does strong arms say? All right, so we can do one, two, three, four. We'll be one short still.
So we just have to we have to attack it twice, basically. So we'll do. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Zuka's cards looks like Snare is gonna get busy. <laughs> well, do two fight. Does that make sense? Plus one, plus two. We might as well get the minus one attack. So cool. they only have two attack against my five. So I might as well just do a regular attack. Yeah, we'll attack five. Because then if we do it three times. It could be two, four, six damage total. Actually, we're gonna be a lot more than that. Yeah, so let's do a regular attack. It's five against two, right? Because they're attack each other, insect and play. Okay. Success. Uh, just get plus one. So we'll do. We hang him ready to resign, since at the end of his turn you'll get that crystal parasite. Oh. So we'll strong arm him. Which deals one, two, three damage. Three, four, five. Oops. Let me flip these over. So that was our first one. Um Is this a move for free zone? No, it's not. That is though. So we have to play to kill him, move. Now we can't resign for free. We're gonna just end up with the enemy. I mean, we're just gonna end up with our, our crystal parasite is all. That's fine. All right, let's attack. Um, five against two again. Yeah, I think this is fine. Ugh. Lair, we're not in a lair. Okay. Deals two damage. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, knocks out the brute queen. She is dead. If she dies, she dies. Here no matter what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so what's going to happen is we'll move Hank up here. And then we can evade or do our, our last thing over here, right? When we do it, he's going to do attack of opportunity on us and just going to hit us for one damage. But then he's elusive, so he's going to move to a different spot. I'm pretty sure it's how that would work. So Zamakona is with us or attached to us. And then... Yeah. So he is now engaged with us because we moved into his space, right? So he automatically engage. They should automatically engage when it causes an attack of opportunity. Yeah, but doesn't he just engage with us? And then we move over for free. So we're chilling there now. Doesn't matter. He's with us now. That's fine. So that's that. Then she gets to move up here. Up here. And then last one is to resign. So she has resigned. She is done now. So we don't have to worry about her. Cool. So now we just have to worry about him. And that's it. So we ready up. Now we draw a card. In doing so, we put our sixth one here. We place a crystal parasite into play. Engage with us. Which I don't think really matters. Okay. Third one comes on. Do our bad card. 
Uh, test two head. Increases the difficulty if you have five or more cards in your hand. If you fail, discard two cards from your hand. That's fine. Um, minus two, so we fail. So discard two cards from your hand. All right, I think we're good then. Just two. All right, cool. That's it. Now it's our turn. I think we can just resign, right? Resign conquers all. So I think we can just resign. We don't have to worry about them attacking us or anything. Even if they did attack us, let's say, for the extra VP, no, no. Not gonna, because they have six life. That's too much. Um, so like, I don't think they would deal damage, but even if they did, it wouldn't really affect much in the long run. Yeah, no, I don't want to, he has six life. That's just too much. It's not worth the one VP. Okay. Success. 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 All right, wait, wait. Oh, I have to read the thing, I guess. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Here we go. Uh, there's exactly three. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. Uh, the scent of decay and strange creatures' pheromones uh, mixed to create a uniquely awful musk. Emerge. Emerging from the came out to add some spice to the end. Right. Emerging from the caverns, you lay down the last member of what you assume must be the Pearl family. The acidic residue from their strange crystalline growths burns in your skin. The bodies are painful to look at, their faces frozen in silent agony. Some invisible heavy presence fills the air above the corpses. Although there is no motion, no breeze or dust, only a movement of something in the air. You feel a deep bone aching awareness. Uh okay, so if there's exactly three Check the number of crystal remains in the victor's plate. If there's exactly three crystal remains, ah, there isn't. So it is special if you get all three. Oh, well. All right. Resolution two. Uh, resolution two. Okay. Um, wait, resolution two we said, right? You lay the remains you could recover in the bed of Theo's sky blue truck. Uh, the buildup of minerals makes them simultaneously heavy and incredibly brittle. You don't know what rat warped bodies of the Pearl family, but it surely wasn't quick. They must have been horribly deformed when they died. You document the remains in a few samples of growth, then bury the remains in a shallow grave. In your campaign log, record the remains were partially recovered. Man, so was there no difference if I did two or three? Next time you bring box spray. <laughs> All right. So if it is day two, page 43, second evening. All right. So, oh wait, we have to do victory points. So none of the places have victory, right? So it's two. Just two points? Is that it? Oh, no. Two, three, four. Because of the crystal remains, right? So I think we get four victory points in that. Uh, two from the queen. Brood soldiers had zero, but crystal remains each had one. So two, three, four. I think we're good. How many scenarios are left? Left? I think a million. I have no idea. No, because there's only three days, right? So this is the prelude, the second evening. So second evening. Oh god, there's a lot to do. Now we're not doing the second evening. We'll do it later. How much total VP are we at? Um. Okay. Alessandra has six of thirteen spent, and Hank has four of twelve spent. All right, so I'm not gonna do the prelude the second evening. We'll save that for another night because it's already late. And I'm tired, and it looks like there's a lot of like things to do. So we'll deal with that another time. Because that was exhausting, but that was good. I actually like that scenario. The scenario is fine, except for the weird adjacent thing going on. Uh, but past that, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was a pretty solid uh, scenario. Hank has eight and. Hold on, let me double check. Uh, four or eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hank has eight. 
six, seven. And yeah, Alessandra has seven. Yeah, yeah. That's correct. Needs more behind cards? No, thank you. Never again. But yeah, so overall, I like that scenario. That felt like original. It felt like original Arkham Horror type scenario. You know what I mean? It was hard, but it wasn't like crazy hard. Where were all the bugs? There was one. There's two. I mean, there's only four bugs or a handful of bugs. Which is interesting. I mean, it was kind of cool getting the, the big queen out there. Just find the puncher in the face. So that was nice. It was nice that I finally had something to do. <laughs> Aside from the rail cart scenario, this seemed pretty chill so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So far, it's been it's been pretty good. The rail cart was the worst. The box got scared. Um, that was by far the worst. But yeah, this 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 was I felt like a good scenario. I felt like this was really fair. It, it ninety five percent of it made like complete sense to me. Um, so yeah, yeah, I really can't complain about it. Uh, it's definitely better than the last two. The last two boxes for sure. The end of Hanks is such a. I mean, it was nice. Like, the, my one worry with this was just like, Hank wasn't doing anything. So it's just like, I'm just getting all these resources for no reason. And I'm like, okay, like, I don't know what to do. But luckily, it all came through and we started crushing at the end, which was nice. It was nice to do something like that. The sledgehammer is just so nice. Is there a way to get him a more powerful sledgehammer so I can deal more damage? Is that a thing? <laughs> 